you've decided to level up your sound and are wondering what kind of mic you should buy. Today I'm going to answer that question and I'll try to keep it jargon free and give you enough information for you to decide whether you want to do more research or you feel comfortable making a call buying one of these mics I'm going to present. I'm going to show you four mics and I think that these microphones are somewhat affordable or in the low to mid and budget. There definitely are cheaper microphones and of course more expensive microphones. I selected these four because I believe that they give you enough options based on what you want to do but not too much that you won't be able to pull the trigger on. And stick around till the end because the last microphone on the list is the one that I use for most of my content. Number one is the Blue Yeti mic, which was released in 2009. This mic is affordable, versatile, convenient because you can plug it right into your computer and it will work. It's probably the most widely used microphone by ASMR artists. And there's a good reason. This microphone is multi-pattern, it has high sensitivity, and it gives you pretty decent sound. One caveat with this mic is that it's fairly noisy, so you may need to do a little bit of processing in post. And if you plan on creating content where you're typing on your desk, this mic might not be the best option because ideally it would sit on your desk and capture sound, but the movement in your desk might give you too much noise in what you record. You could use it for up close and personal for ASMR, or you could put it on a table and do a interview style type of video. Number two is the Rode NT1. This is a beautiful microphone. It looks great on video. And I think it's great for people who want to do vocals. So if you are a singer, maybe a musician, and you're starting out your singing career and you wanna record good quality stuff, this microphone could be just what you need. Now, when it comes to people singing, it's really good to find a microphone that fits your voice. I'm a bass. So I have to find microphones that work well for my voice. If you're a tenor or some other type of voice, microphones that pick up different signals might work better for you. I would say that the Rode NT1, though I'm not an audio expert, doesn't or isn't great for my voice. I think it does better for someone with a, a higher range. If that's you, this could be a fantastic microphone. Now, one of the things about this microphone is that unlike the first one, it's not a USB mic. In fact, it's an XLR microphone and requires phantom power. What does that mean for you? It means that if you're thinking about buying this mic, not only is it more expensive than the first one, but you may have to incur other expenses as well. If you don't have an audio interface that this microphone would plug into, you would have to buy that. And you could go with something like the Scarlett uh, Duo as an audio interface. There are many audio interface options. And the primary reason for buying one of those is that that XLR input needs to go into something. It doesn't connect directly to your computer or a USB interface. It needs to go through an audio interface. And from there, that audio interface sends a signal to your computer. And I mentioned this because if you bought something like the Blue Yeti, you would get a USB cord and that will plug straight into your computer. If you get something like the uh, Rode NT1, which is an XLR microphone, you would need something like this, an XLR cord. And in addition to that, you would need an audio interface. And that audio interface would need to support phantom power so that it can send power to this microphone. Now, I don't wanna to get too technical, so let's move to the third option. The third option is a microphone that will give you the freedom to move around. And um, if you have a keen eye, you may have noticed it. This whole time I've been talking into this relatively new wireless lapel mic or just wireless microphone. And specifically, this is a newer CM28. And it comes in this really nice box that houses all of the items in here. It comes with two transmitters and one receiver. Currently, the one receiver is plugged into my computer because it connects directly to my USB interface 
through connections that it has. So this is another convenient and very versatile option because especially when you're creating content with your phone or you're out and about, you have the freedom to move around more and be able to have this transmitter send the sound to the receiver, which could be up to 850 feet away. So if you're creating content on the go or you're creating content outdoors this could be a fantastic option i bought this one on tic tac shop for like 84 dollars. i'm not disappointed at all i'm able to plug it straight into my iphone and create content on the go for that short form content and i can also do this plug it right into my computer and be able to move around because generally I am anchored on my desk using something like this. This is a Rode PodMic. It's a fantastic microphone if you are creating a lot of content at your desk. This microphone sits on my desk and I use it for all of my online meetings and for a lot of the content that, that I create here at my desk. I love the sound that it produces and I don't have to do a lot in post. They have a USB version. This version has an XLR input and you can tell the difference between an XLR and the USB version. It is negligible, but I can still hear it. And since I already had an audio interface, I opted for getting the XLR version. You could get the USB version of the microphone and I think that you would get great uh, quality audio and it would work similar to the first microphone, the Blue Yeti, where you're able to take that USB cable and plug it right into, into the computer. All right, we've been talking a lot about microphones and audio and hopefully you have a better idea of what your options are and if you feel overwhelmed a little bit, please don't. Anything is going to be better than the sound that comes out of your webcam or your DSLR or even your iPhone. So don't think too much about these, but just in summary, we looked at the Blue Yeti microphone, which is a USB microphone with multi-pattern and uh, very versatile. Rode NT1, fantastic for musicians and vocalists who want to start out and maybe get some music recorded. Next, we talked about this wireless lapel mic, which is one of my favorites right now because I've been creating a lot of content on my desk and or at my desk i love being outside so i want to have the freedom to do that and capture decent audio so this is going to help a lot with that finally we talked about uh, the one that i use the most that's the pod mic i think the pod mics are fantastic microphones for the price great value so if you are going to be creating content at your desk maybe you're creating screencasts or uh, coding tutorials or courses, you can't go wrong with that. Quick bonus, if you have been creating content for a long time and maybe you already have some of these budget microphones and you're looking to level up even higher and you have the budget for it, I highly recommend Shure SM7DB because this microphone is what you see many of the podcast pros use. If you're looking for that upgrade, the Shure SM7B would be a great addition to your kit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions about microphones or audio or need some sound samples, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to oblige.